After more than a month on strike, the United Auto Workers have struck a deal with Ford and it's a great one. The top wage for workers is reportedly increasing by over 30% to over $40 per hour. On top of that, the starting wage is going up nearly 70% to over $28 an hour. And over the course of a four and a half year long contract, Ford's lowest paid workers will get a raise of over 150%. Kind of gives a whole new meaning to strike one. Hopefully, that'll inspire the Las Vegas hotel workers who might be headed for a strike and are already making their feelings known. On Wednesday evening, thousands of them showed up to a protest on the Vegas Strip, which disrupted traffic and led to dozens of arrests. According to the Las Vegas police, 58 people are facing misdemeanor charges over assembling to disturb the peace. Negotiations between the Culinary Workers Union and the casino companies are ongoing, and even by Sin City standards, the stakes are high. And if you're looking for reasons why the labor movement seems to have momentum, try this one on for size, food insecurity. According to a new report from the Department of Agriculture, 17 million American households, or 12.8% of the total, had at least occasional troubles affording food last year. That's up from 10.2% in 2021. And experts attribute the increase to a combination of high inflation and the end of several pandemic era programs. Scary stuff. But for what it's worth, I promise I've got much lighter stories coming up later in the program, so stick around.